name is Elizabeth Harper from sealwithlove.com and I want to talk to you about something that came up just recently. I was working away and an email came in to say that on Facebook a friend of mine was having a birthday and I thought that's interesting because she passed away a couple of years ago. So I didn't think very much about it other than to send her love. You know, whenever a loved one, whenever their memory comes up or you think of them, send them love because they're thinking about you as well. That energy, that beautiful energy is reaching out to you. So anyway, later that day, another Facebook notification popped up about her birthday. And again, I thought that was interesting because, of course, she'd passed into spirit. When it happened for a third time, and this was interesting to me because I don't usually get three notifications about someone's birthday when it came up for a third time. I was curious to see if anyone had posted something on her Facebook page. So I took a look at her Facebook page and there were lots of beautiful messages from people who loved her, who missed her, who shared their sense of loss, but also their sense of love for her. And I thought, what a beautiful way for a community to come together to remember someone. Because when, when our loved ones pass into spirit, you know, we go through this grieving phase and it's very painful and it gets better over time, but it's still there. That energy of grief is still there. But if we remember someone once a year with so much light and so much love and happiness and celebration, then I feel as if as a community, we lift our spirits up. Remember the happy times, especially birthdays, because those birthdays can be full of joy, excitement, the thought of what's coming up for my year ahead. And of course, the celebration of that beautiful soul being born onto the earth plane. Well, later that day, my husband and I went out and we happened to stop at a place where a friend was working. And she said to us, you know, something really strange happened. I had a dream about a friend last night and we were having a celebratory drink. We were connecting, we were chatting. And she said it was very interesting because I really felt her energy. So the next day, what she did was she looked on Facebook. <laughs> she just happened to look on Facebook about this person and she knew this person had passed into spirit. And it was that person's birthday. It was her birthday. And she'd had a dream about her that previous night. It was a celebratory dream. So she was coming to her to say, here, I'm celebrating my birthday. Join me. And when she looked on the Facebook page, other people were sending her wishes and love and celebrations for her birthday. So then this got me thinking, what if when we pass into spirit, we have this one particular time when we know that people will be thinking about us and how wonderful that Facebook notification is, if they're on Facebook, I know some people don't like Facebook, but if you're on Facebook, then you get this like memory burst that comes out, this notification to say, hey, it's this person's birthday, say happy birthday to them, celebrate their, their life. And even if they've passed into spirit, in that moment you remember them and you send them love and you send them light. It's such a great thing. I love that. But what was interesting to me was that my friend had also had this dream. And of course, in the dream state, your loved ones, your guides, your angels, information can come through. 
because you're not thinking about other things. So you haven't got those thoughts about what am I going to do today? How much money do I need for A, B or C? Or who am I going to talk to or text? Or what's my job? Or et cetera, et cetera. It's all these things are moving throughout, throughout your mind. And it gets all crammed in. It's a little bit like having lots of lots of food in the fridge and you can't get anything more in there. As soon as you've cleared that food out, you can get more in there, can't you? Well, it's the same when you go to sleep. When you go to sleep, that part of your pantry <laughs> is kind of empty and you're open to receive information. You're open to receive guidance. You're open to receive communication. My brother, when he died when I was 10 years old, he communicated with me first through dreams. And I, I knew that it was him. It was a completely different dream. You know when it's someone in spirit, when it's a loved one in spirit communicating with you. You know it's just it just had a different quality to it, different vibration. And it's almost like you're completely present. It's not like a dream where you're just observing it. In these kind of dreams where you're communicating with spirit, where you're communicating with loved ones, you're completely present. And you can see and sense and feel everything going on. And it's highly emotional as well. So the point of this, the reason I wanted to share this with you is first of all, if there is someone in spirit that you've lost and you're grieving, then think of them, not just on their birthday, but just think of them, think of memories that you've had together that have brought you great joy, happiness. Think of those memories. And each time you think of those memories, what will happen is it will draw that being of light to you. And your ability to communicate will be so much stronger. You could also think of them on their birthdays. And on that birthday, others will be thinking of them as well. And as a consequence of that, it will really boost the energy. It's a little bit like when all of us come together to meditate, the energy is boosted. It just gives you, it's like it creates a stronger bridge between this life and the next dimension. Now I have a PDF, a free gift to offer you with some more ideas about how you can strengthen that connection and how you can hone in on connecting with your loved ones in spirit. Whether it's a husband, a wife, a, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, a friend, or a pet, an animal that has passed into spirit. I have some other ways that you can strengthen that connection. So that free gift is in the description below. Also, I will be teaching at the Omega Institute in July. It's a weekend class and I'm going to help you to connect with your guides. And of course, as you connect with your guides, you'll also strengthen that connection with your loved ones, with your angels and with your animal friends and with all kinds of different light beings. So I hope you can join me at the Omega Institute. The Omega Institute, by the way, is in upstate New York and it's a beautiful, incredible environment to take a workshop in. It's really lovely. So I hope to see you there. You will see more about that. You'll get more information in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this little time together. Please share this video with your friends and I will see you very soon. Lots of love and blessings to you. <laughs> bye bye.